Hey, nice to see you again. Oh my goodness, I am so happy to be here. Good Do to see you. Do you remember the the first time we met? Yes. How could I forget? I can never forget for we the people out never. there who were we were at the White House. At the White House. It was a good party. Oh yeah, it was an amazing. It was party. Um, the not this president, but it was it was different yeah. president. It was under different it was, circumstances. It was the it was it was the previous president's 55th birthday. Yes. And that was maybe the best party I, I've ever been no, to. No, hands down. It, and you've it, probably been to better party. parties than I have. I'm oh, guessing. Oh no, 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 that was it. Unbelievable. That was it. It was. There's nobody that knows how to party like. My forever president, Barack Obama. <laughs> the, part, <Perfect. laughs> the part I'll never met, one of the parts I'll never forget is, is when I met you briefly. We didn't even talk. What happened was is that this is, it's, it's, it's an impossible story to tell without seeming like a jerk. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, I'm going to sound like a jerker. We, uh, it was in the East Room of the White House, yep. or the big formal room there, and Usher was dancing in the middle of the floor, sure and was. a group of people had gathered around sure him, was. and we were all watching, <laughs> and I was waiting. I'd love to get out there and dance, and Ellen DeGeneres <laughs> put her hand <laughs> in the small of my back and pushed me onto the <laughs> dance floor, so I started That's doing true. my best. <laughs> and I turn around, and here you come, like three feet off the floor. <laughs> yes. Just absolutely killing it, that and is true. the great honor is you put your hat on my head. I sure did. I, yeah, um, and I danced. I gave with you, you the juice. You know, I gave you the energy. You did. Even that you, you did needed to just win that night, and I think you won. Oh, I don't know if I did because the next person on the dance floor was the president of the United okay. States. Well, you're right. You're I think right. maybe he. I think yeah. he maybe won. And our first won. lady. Yo, incredible, dance. incredible. Michelle Obama, my right. forever first lady. At I one point in the night. <laughs> And then I'll drop the party. I'll just drop the party. I just want to tell us one yeah, more story. Yeah, we don't want to seem like we're bragging. Is that, is that uh, uh, Stevie Wonder was on stage singing to Michelle Obama, and yes. Paul McCartney leaned over to me and said, it doesn't get better than this. It doesn't. And I said, I'm it guessing is. you would know. It, and, and I don't think since that night it has gotten better than No, that. I don't think so either. I think um, that was the end of the, the better th days. Well, uh, <laughs> besides being just... Just joking. Also both great, great dancers. Um, you and I share a love for science fiction. Yes. Which I didn't, I didn't always know. Did you have some authors you I liked sci -fi. when you were yes. younger? Um, well, my grandmother uh, would watch me. I had a young mom, and so my mom would uh, want to mm -hmm. slip out the house at night and yep. go party. She's going to kill me uh, for saying this. But <laughs> my grandma used to watch me, and uh, one of the things we, we shared was the love of the Twilight Zone. Oh, sure. And we would watch it every That's night. That's spooky. Did that ever sp spook you no, out? No, I was one of those kids that they were concerned about. <laughs> they were concerned because I was so in it. It was it was not cartoons for me. It was like the Twilight Zone. You know, it was always that. And so um, I loved being able to to just see these different worlds that were different from mine, mm -hmm. uh, that allowed me to kind of escape where I was mm -hmm. uh, during those times. And it just stayed with me. I started to write science fiction uh, as a teenager. I was in um, a part of this group, the Coterie Theater's Young Playwrights Roundtable, mm -hmm. where if your work was good enough, your short story was great enough, the local actors would perform it, and people would perform some of my pieces, and um, it, it stayed with me throughout my work. Well, so your, is your science fiction, uh, like, hopeful or dystopian? Well, it has started out dystopian. Yeah. And, you know... <laughs> I, I, I try and give hope through those dystopian worlds. Mm -hmm. But I love writers like Octavia Butler. Sure. She's oh, incredible. Yeah, she's, a, she's, a, she's a black woman, and, mm -hmm. and I love that lens. I love, you know, because I am a black woman and I grew up in the middle of America, I love writing through my truths and, and through the lens of a black American woman. And I think that uh, movies like Black Panther mm -hmm. have deeply inspired me. And, and Afrofuturism uh, is, a, is a term that allows us, mm -hmm. as black people, to um, uh, see ourselves in the future and know mm -hmm. that we make it, know that we're not, you know, the first <laughs> first people gone <laughs> when something goes down, you know? Well, was that particularly gratifying for you to play one of the hidden figures and hidden figures? Oh, that, yes. Because that, that is a form of... Uh, Afrofuturism that actually happened. Yes. That, that, that actually is part of our past Absolutely. that's been hidden from us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was really important for me to take that role of Mary Jackson. She was the first uh, engineer, uh, of, uh, a black woman engineer at, at NASA. And she, along with Dorothy Vaughn and Katherine Johnson, um, they were responsible for getting John Glenn, our first American astronaut, into space. And people didn't know that women were human computers. They were actually, you know, doing those numbers before we had the 
the inanimate object uh, com computer. And so just to think about if that story was not told, that will be another story about us that will be erased. And I think we have to really make sure um, that we have that representation out there and people know that we're from the ghettos to NASA, we're changing the world. Well, now you're another, you're another type of computer. Now, now, uh, now it's dirty computer. Yes. Now, uh, what is what is the dirty computer? Is that is that the human mind? Well, you know, the dirty computer speaks to um, what it means when uh, humanity, um, you know, says that we are full of bugs and viruses uh, because of our very existence. Whether it be, um, you know, you being a part of the LGBT. QIA community, being a black woman, being a minority, an immigrant, the marginalized. It speaks to uh, what it means to um, say that our bugs and our viruses, the things that make us different, um, are attributes, you know, they're features. Um, they don't, we don't need to be reprogrammed or deprogrammed. We're fine how we are. We too are American. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. No, I understand Stevie. I've been told Stevie Wonder has uh, a track on this album that he helped you with. Yes, yes. Uh, Stevie Wonder has been a, a mentor uh, to me. I can't even believe I'm speaking those words. I grew up listening to his music and just uh, admiring him. You know, he's, he's like, he's a world all his own to me. Mm -hmm. um, and he speaks from love, and you get that through every chord, progression, every lyric, uh, everything about him. Is, what did he is, is teach great. you when, you, got, when so, you guys were together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we had a lot of conversations, and I was uh, over his house, actually, on Easter. And I was really frustrated with what was going on uh, during that time. Um, it was something. It's always something, right? And so I was uh, asking him how he dealt with losing his friends like Dr. King and, you know, um, all of the people who, who were part of that civil rights uh, mm -hmm. movement. And I knew he would be able to tell me because this is somebody who has just been responsible for getting Dr. King's holiday and he's gone through a lot. And he told me that I cannot allow my anger, my words of anger, uh, to, to, to get in the way of love. Make sure that when I'm communicating to people that uh, words of love are the last thing that they hear because you're not going to win any other way. And so when he told me that, it, it, it's still been a challenge. It's still been kind of sure. difficult <laughs> sure. to try to, you know, um, uh, you know love, love the people who are, you feel like, you know, as a woman are trying to trample on your rights. Um, I grew up to a very hard working class family. My mom was a janitor. My dad uh, worked at the post office. He uh, also was a trash man. And these are people, when you strip away the artist, the dirty computer, um, the arc android, who I am as an artist, I'm still a young black queer woman who grew up to um, uh, working class parents. And when I go home, I have to deal with that. You know, and so for me, um, people like Stevie Wonder, people who have come before me, uh, it's good to just go back and, and talk to them to get more perspective. Obviously, this is my generation. This is our generation. We're going to do things differently. Um, but one of the things that I want to do with this project is lead with love. That's yeah. beautiful. That's lead very hard love. because it can be very tempting yeah. to answer anger with anger, or hate with hate. Absolutely. Well, um, before you go, if you don't want, you famously danced on this desk. Uh, I sure did. Back, it's <laughs> oh not on God. this desk, but in this theater. <laughs> I when, sure when did. When was the host, you danced on his desk over there, and I and you and I have danced together. I would be honored if you if you would join me on the desk. Oh my gosh. Would you, you be so willing? Me? Come on, what are we gonna dance to? Let me let me say goodbye first. Wait, get oh. up here. Get up, come on. Get up. Bye everyone. We're going to dance on the desk. You need okay, some let help me let me up see. Here? Uh, ah. Dirty Maybe give me a there little help. There you go. Oh my God. I have on heels all right, all right. today. Dirty Computer is available now, and you can see her perform on her tour through August. Also, later in this show, Janelle Monet, everybody. We'll be right back.